Hey guys, how you going? Just wanted to have a quick chat about trout etiquette and handling. Now, I see a lot of photos and social media and stuff like that, and these dry trout, you know, they're covered in grass, eyes, eyes bulging out, all that sort of stuff. You know, comments are, it's fish released, blah, blah, blah. Look, that's all good that you're releasing fish, but what a lot of people don't know is, firstly, the slime coating on the trout is actually protection from disease and those sort of things. So when you're taking it out in the bank, it's flapping around in the grass, getting dry, removing that, you're overhandling it, trying to get that perfect shot, it's just gonna kill the trout. You know, you, you might let it go, it might swim off, it might look healthy, two days later it goes belly up. So handling trout, especially if you try and protect your local, your local fishery and you enjoy catching trout, wanna give the trout the best chance they can have. And if you really want that photo, best thing you can do is set your camera up on video, okay? Hold the fish up quickly out of the net, move it around a few times, put it straight back in, no stress in the fish. If you're setting up timers and those sort of things, it's all going to increase the chance that the fish is probably gonna die down the track. Now, if you are gonna pick up the trout to take photos, there's also another point I'll point out as well. A lot of people tend to hold the trout behind the fins, directly behind the uh, fins on the underside. That's exactly where their heart is. So as half of the fish's weight is resting on your fingers, it's actually squishing the heart and the organs of the fish. So if you're gonna hold them, have your finger sort of straddling underneath towards the jaw, like that. He's properly supported all the way through. If you have all his weight just here where this middle finger is, that's gonna put stress on his heart. And we don't wanna do that. Again, it's all about conservation, letting the fish go. Off he goes.